Botswana started voting in an election that will determine whether President Mokwitsi Misisi secures a second term. With slowing economic growth driven by declining diamond demand the central issue, Misisi's Botswana Democratic Party, BDP, has governed the southern African state since 1966 and remains the favorite to win despite the party's falling popularity. Voters elect a national assembly, with the largest party then choosing the president. The BDP faces a fragmented opposition with its biggest challenge coming from the Umbrella for Democratic Change, UDC, a coalition led by lawyer Duma Boko. Two other parties have put forward candidates for president. Voting started smoothly in the capital Gaborone, with long queues outside most polling stations. Over a million people are registered to vote in the country of some 2.3 million. According to the Electoral Commission, economic issues have dominated the campaign. Although Botswana is one of the wealthiest countries per capita in sub-Saharan Africa, a decline in the global diamond market saw its economic growth forecast for 2024 slash to 1%. Botswana is the world's top producer by value of diamonds and has struggled to diversify its economy. Opposition parties have criticized Misisi for the weakening growth rate as well as high levels of inequality and unemployment, while Misisi says his plans to create jobs were disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic but remain on track. It is our right which is in our constitution. I encourage every Botswana who has legally registered to freely vote for the party of their choice. The votes will be counted, the results of the presidency will be announced by the Chief Justice and others will be announced by IEC, Masisi said. Masisi came to power in 2018 through a planned transition after his predecessor Ian Karma served the maximum 10 years in office. He kept the job after a 2019 poll which the BDP won. Election results are usually announced within a few days.